All right, what is going on guys? So the final week of the Time After Time event quest has come out and I got one path left on each quest. So we're gonna go ahead and do that in this video and then we're gonna open up these rewards here. So it's mainly just this five star unified crystal. Uh, we got some really good champs in there. So we'll go over that a little bit more once we uh, get to that point. But let's go ahead and finish up all these quests. Um, let's, bring in, let's bring in Captain Marvel and Nick Fury, sure. Bring in those guys. She only really need ghosted, but you know, just in case. So, yeah, I got all the gates done first. Uh, there's five paths on each of these quests, man, which was pretty annoying. Um, you know, in the first chapter, there's only two paths per per quest, and I, I saw that. I'm like, okay, they only like two two paths of quest. This is this is fine. There's a lot of quests, but only two paths. It's not too bad. And then it went to three paths. I'm like, okay, this is uh, kind of annoying. Then I went to four paths, and I'm like, okay, this sucks. But the last chapter was locked, and I'm like, I hope it doesn't go to five paths. And it did. So, yeah, pretty pretty annoying. But we got the, the bulk of it done here. And, yeah, we're pretty much in the home stretch now. So, that's good. And then, yeah, we can open up that crystal. And as far as champs in that crystal, who I want, um, I'm not even sure. I think Thor is in there. OG Thor. That would be pretty dope, man. I uh, would love an OG Thor. Um, aside from him, you know, I already have Thing, who's like the best champ in that pool, I think. Uh, Sentinel would be pretty good. Don't have him at all. Uh, even if we got a Thing, though, that'd be good because it'd be a max Sig crystal, more six star shards, which uh, I can always use. I'm trying to hit 30k by Comic Con, uh, so I can have three six star crystals to open up. And right now I'm at like 23,000, so I, st I need another 7,000. And I think I can get there. Uh, because, you know, we got 2,500 from, coming from Uncollected, and then we're gonna have, um, all the, the dupes from my 5-star shards. I have over 100k 5-star shards, so yeah, those, getting dupes from those will give me good shards, especially if I get any max egg crystals, which, like I said, thing would be, so yeah, it'll help out. Uh, but yeah, I wanna have, like, three 6-star crystals for you guys there. Uh, I think that'd be awesome. Just, yeah, lot the more crystals, the better at Comic-Con, man. That's just the way I see it. Um, speaking of Comic Con, man, I am I'm getting really excited. So, right now is what Saturday. I've kind of been. I, I sometimes I don't even know what day it is, but like it's been really bad since I got home. Like I have no idea what day it is because like traveling for a whole day, man, messes you up. And then I come home and like the time changes. I go back like two hours. It's it's just crazy. Um, uh, like you know, I I never really. Like, I don't mind flying. Like, flying itself isn't really a problem for me. Uh, like, I'm, I'm not scared of turbulence or anything like that. I don't, that doesn't matter. But, like, just, you know, wasting a whole day traveling and just being so restricted on the plane. Like, I'm I'm six feet tall, so, you know, like, I, I need to stretch my legs out, like, every now and again or they get, like, really sore. So, on a plane, man, it's so cramped. You know, I hate that. That's, that's the worst part for me. But, you know, just, just bring, you know, down some shows on Netflix. I brought my uh, my Nintendo Switch to, uh, to to New York for the tournament, and I was just playing, like, some Super Smash Bros., the, the, the storyline. I never really played the storyline before on, on the new game, so that's kind of interesting. Um, See, so yeah, I wasn't too bad, you know, watched some Netflix and tried to sleep a little bit. It's, it's also kind of hard to get comfortable on the plane, because I, I, I don't ever get the window seat. I always have the middle seat or the aisle seat. So yeah, it's always pretty annoying. Because you know, if you have the window seat, you can just like lean your head up against the wall and kind of sleep that way or bring a little pillow or something. But yeah, so it's kind of hard to sleep. I just, I, I, don't, I don't really sleep on my back. I'm not one of those types of people. So it's, it's hard to get comfortable, man. But you know, it's, it'll be four flights within two weeks to and from New York. <laughs> But hey, man, I'm I'm just really excited to go to New York for Comic Con, uh, just to see everyone. Like just seeing Brian, Analyzer, Crafty, all those guys. It was really great. But like seeing everybody, dude, it's it's so sick. And meeting new people like that you know of from the community, uh, that that'll be really cool too. Like it, it, it's so weird because like like I, I met Crafty uh, for the first time uh, at, when I went to New York for the tournament, and like. Like I, I'd known him for a day, and we were at supper, and like we were just talking, like all having a really normal conversation. It's like it's like we've known each other for a long time already, you know. Like it's just, it's it's so easy to talk to people that you meet with 
from this community at Comic Con because literally you can just talk to someone for hours and hours because you have s we all just play this game and I could literally talk about this game for just hours and hours and hours like it's so easy to find something to talk about you know it's great okay, we're getting a little wrecked by this Killmonger um, okay let's uh, relax here reverb um, alright we should be good let's get off a big L2 so it reverbs down um, but yeah, man, like, it's just so great. I'm excited to see everyone again as well. Everyone that we already met and people that we haven't met yet. Like, Rich the Man's going this year, I know. Uh, I've never met him, but I've known, known him for quite a while, so it'll be cool to meet him. Um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm really excited. And not to mention the tournament for the Summoner Showdown, but also the, the regular Comic-Con Beat the Boss tournament. So there's going to be so much to do every day at Comic-Con, man. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. And I'm staying in, uh, I'll stay in New Jersey. It's pretty close. It's like only like a 20 minute drive to uh, Manhattan, to the Javits Center where the where Comic-Con's held. So it's not actually that far. Which is crazy to think that you're staying in another state, but it's not even that far. Like, where we were staying last year was further. Last year we stayed in Yonkers. I, like, you're probably like, what the heck is Yonkers? Like, that's what I <laughs> first thought, too, when we, uh, eat got us the place. Like, what is Yonkers? Like, it's, uh, it's like a north, a little bit north of New York. And that, that, that was pretty far, actually. It took, like, quite a while to get there in the morning. Just, like, $70 Uber rides, man. It was crazy. So yeah, staying in New Jersey this time, you know, we got an Airbnb, um, it's gonna be awesome, man. It's me, Hector, uh, Eat, Captain Bay, and, uh, Panda Man Pete, and then, uh, our buddy Clobber and Time's gonna be staying with us a bit, too. It's gonna be great, man. Hector's brother as well, like, it's, we got a nice house, that's sick, and just, like, you know, the way, uh, it works, like, we, the way we split the, the cost, you know, it's, it wasn't even too bad, you know, it's much cheaper than staying in, like, a, a hotel, like, right next to, uh, to the Javits Center, so that's awesome. It's just gonna be so much fun, man. Like making videos with those guys, man. We got some got some stuff planned, so yeah, I'm really excited. Okay, this Proxima is a little annoying. Six star Awakened Proxima, man. I hope I never have the pleasure. <laughs> uh, I got you enough of the five star. Alright, there we go. These quests, at least like each path on the quest goes by pretty quick. Only like three fights and then a boss or something like that. All right, let's keep her going here. What do we got? The boss, Mysterio. This guy is kind of annoying. It's something like that glances your attacks. I don't know. Let's use Captain Marvel here. Apply the armor break to him. Mysterio is annoying to fight, man. A little bit. All right, let's get the intercept here. Go. The armor break to him. Oh yeah. Gotta block all that. Build up some binary. Let's just chill a bit. Alright, let's go ahead and activate binary ignition. Get some furies going. Oh man, that that heavy attack comes in so quick. Alright, let's drop an L2 here. It should do some decent damage. I don't know if I got glanced a bunch. Alright, let's beat this out. Come on, man. Now we're gonna miss. Why are you throwing a heavy? <laughs> this guy in his heavies, man, I tell ya. That's heavy. Intercept. L1. Come on. Oh man. Alright, there we go. Stupid glancing man it makes it uh, an annoying fight. There we go. I think this is the second last. Is I know Void's the last boss. Is he next? Is that five already? No, Red Hulk. Okay, this should be this should be second last one and then one more on that void and that should be it. Alright, got a little domino here. Let's take her down. But, yeah, guys, if there's any uh, videos you guys want to see specifically in New York, let me know. If there's anything you guys want me to ask Kabam, you know, let me know. Uh, like, I, the last two years, the first year, people did, like, interviews with people at Kabam, like Brian and Dave did, you know, and I think Cena did too, and I thought that'd be cool. 
like my YouTube channel was very small the first year I went. I had like three thousand subscribers or something like that, something along those lines. You know, it was a very small channel at the time. And then last year, I was over like twenty k, I think something, something like that, twenty four, twenty five k area. Um, but you know, last Comic Con, man, I was just like getting back into the game, and I was. I was rusty, man. I was definitely rusty playing-wise and just, like, knowledge of the game. I didn't really know what, what had been going on. Uh, so, like, I was a bit out of the loop, so... And I wasn't even really sure last year if I was gonna even continue doing YouTube or anything. Like, I was very unsure if, I, if YouTube was, one, was something I wanted to continue doing. Um, but, yeah, this year, like, I have been going so hard on the game. Uh, like, been doing these feature grinds, man, just playing a lot, doing a lot of arena, just uploading almost every day. Uh, like, I've really been on the grind. So this year, man, I feel like I'm so ready for Comic-Con, uh, YouTube-wise, like, playing skill-wise, like, it's gonna be a good year, dude, I'm sure. And just seeing everybody, it's gonna be really awesome as well. But, you know, like, I feel like my YouTube channel is at a place now where I definitely, YouTube is something I definitely want to continue doing. I've been having a great time with it, and... Like, I can see myself really doing it, you know, like, I've, I've really been enjoying it lately, which is good. Um, so, you know, I feel like, I don't know, if maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe I could try to do a, uh, an interview with someone from Kabam. I'm sure they would be, they'd be down for it. Uh, like, I'm, I've gotten to know a couple people from Kabam pretty well the last couple of years. Um, so if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. And if you guys have questions specifically that you want me to ask, you know, go ahead leave them down there, maybe I can compile a list of questions from you guys, some of my own, and then get something like that going. That'd be interesting, I think. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, rip. Alright, well, that's why we brought Captain Marvel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so if that's something you guys want to see, go ahead and let me know. If any, any other ideas, you know, like, just videos you want to see with other people i was what i wanted to do with brian was uh, a dungeon push in new york for the tournament because dungeons had just come back um but like we're, we said we were going to do them on uh wednesday night after the tournament and everything uh because we didn't want to do them the first day because we had opened my crystals you know it's kind of been a long day we were both pretty tired so the plan was to do them on wednesday nights uh after the tournament and everything, but you know, we had been at Dave and Buster's for like four, three, four hours. We had gotten home, it was already pretty late, we were both tired, and like we were both going to our rooms, like we're on the same floor. He went one way, I went the other. I'm like, Brian, dungeons! He's like, oh yeah. I'm like, I don't really feel like doing them. He's like, yeah, I don't feel like doing them right now either, so yeah, we didn't do them. Uh, um, but yeah, we just forgot about it, and like we were, we were busy, so. Yeah, maybe if I can try to do a dungeon push in New York, that would be really cool, man. I don't know. Try with Brian. I don't, like. I don't. I don't know. It's it's gonna be a little difficult now because we're not like staying uh, at the same hotel or anything. So I don't know. Maybe if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I feel like that'd be cool just to do like in person with someone. You know, pushing dungeons together. I feel like that'd be really cool. Uh, like to really do a push. So I don't know. We'll see. Right, I think we're on the final quest here. All right. Let's phase a hit. We're going. I'm interested to see what we get from that crystal. Like, I haven't opened a five star crystal of my own in a while. Like, you know, I just did that big opening, uh, but Brian opened up all those crystals, so. And his five star luck was pretty bad. But the six star luck, man, hey, got that six star Captain Marvel. I'm so happy with that, so. Yeah, he's. he, he came, As far as I'm concerned, he came through for me. Alright, you're dead. Ah, Morning Star. Speaking of Morning Star, she was so she was the first um, character to be a prize at Comic Con in 2017. We we won her the first day of the, the Comic Con of the tournament Thursday. A five star Morning Star. And then this last year, we 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 won Thursday again the first tournament and the daily challenge and it was Venom the Duck as a six star though so they increased the star level so for this year man I'm thinking the prize is gonna be a six star guillotine 2099 as a six star I think, I think that's gonna be the prize for the daily tournament uh, and then 
if you win the, the, the final tournament for the Beat the Boss, it'll probably be a, a dupe on her. So that could be, that could be interesting. Uh, so hopefully, maybe if we can win one of those days, get a six star guillotine, man. Be pretty cool. Should probably have a good synergy with Morningstar as well. Maybe you start with another an extra soul or something. That'd be pretty cool. Got a little heavy attack. Dang, no fury. All right, let's drop this L2. Get that going. Let's phase that recoil. All right, looking good. Another heavy. There's a fury. Gotten pretty good at fighting voids with a uh, ghost. Should kill him. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, that's great. All right, now we should. That should be 100% of everything. Let's see. Out of time. Get those five star shards. Those six star shards. A a a. All right. Take a little screenshot. You guys know me. What do we got? Tomorrow warrior. Looks like time travel. Okay. Uh, but let's go open crystal man let's go check that thing out see exactly who's in it all right where is this bad boy here is that it that is it man sweet all right so i'm gonna go over each champ say if i'd want him or not so Captain america no winter soldier no red skull yes thor yes loki no hawkeye no dormammu yes stock hawk no sentinel yes thing yes she hulk no dr voodoo yes taskmaster no Sabretooth, no the champion yes venom yes carnage no night thrasher yeah uh dark hawk yeah mr sister no spider gwen no morning star no iron man infinity war yes venom the duck yes korg yeah um Number one is definitely Sentinel, no, Thor. Yeah, I'd probably say Thor is number one. And then, you know, Sentinel. Would love Sentinel. Uh, don't have him. You know, any new champ is good. That's great. Any first time dupe is good. But, you know, Thor, he's he's hard to get, man. So Thor would be really cool. Thing would also be all right. You know, he's SIG 200. So we get that max SIG crystal, extra six star shards. You know, I'll take those extra six star shards. Venom. Would be a first time dupe on him, so I'd bring him uh, to 20. He's at rank 4 on Awaken, so I wouldn't mind that. So let's see what we got here, man. Dr. Voodoo would be cool, he'd be new, rank 4 him. And we're landing on a Venom the Duck. Hey, speaking of Venom the Duck from Comic Con last year, that's cool. That's a, a new champ. You know, we have him as a 6 star. We had the first Venom the Duck in the game. Uh, but you know, there we go. We got him as a 5 star now. That's, hey, that's, that's cool, man. I'll definitely take that. Um, yeah, awesome. A new five star for doing this event. That's worth it to me. Glad it wasn't a, a bad pull. So, yeah, cool, man. Let me know what you guys got from your five star era crystal. Uh, if you've completed this event, it's kind of an annoying event, very long. Probably take like more than three and a half hours to do it all. So, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Though, smash that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you like some more content. Thank you so much for watching. Can't wait to go to Comic-Con and bring you guys some awesome content. Thanks for watching. Peace out.